Okay, so um, I'm going to talk about the um, uh, basically the uh, MFF. Okay, uh, which is uh, my forex funds. It's very interesting because uh, two years ago uh, I gave a, a uh, an outline details of a business um, plan or uh, a business uh, modus operandi for another proprietary trading uh, company and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sort of uh, leave a uh, connection or a link at the end of this particular little video where I broke down the pros and cons of the so-called proprietary trading companies now uh, my forex funds was run by a chap a single uh, shareholder called mr Cumsey, apparently uh, who managed to uh, extract from 135,000 client accounts uh, 310 million dollars okay over i think a two-year stretch and it's just amazing because the way in which it's done is a com literally, I don't know, maybe maybe he watched my video. You know, I didn't have that many, I didn't have that many uh, views on it. Maybe he was one of the few people who actually watched that video because I broke down uh, the business model of uh, a renowned uh, so-called proprietary trading company, okay? Uh, and how I felt that they were making the money. And what's happened is that this company, MFF, have actually sort of done exactly that business model. Now, the main points, really, uh, in regards to this so-called uh, proprietary trading uh, organisations, which, I mean, old-school proprietary trading, you ask an old chap, okay, uh, who's been in the industry for some time what is a proprietary trading company uh, it will be something similar to behind me where you've got rows of desks of people who will hire those desks uh, usually hire the desk at about £1,500 maybe $2,000 a month and for that they would get crazy discounted uh, commissions so for example if you were trading the German government bond 10-year, the Bund, okay, uh, you'd only be charged 15 cents to buy uh, uh, the contract and 15 cents to sell. So you're talking about a round trip of 30 cents. Okay, that means literally you can buy at 10, okay, and then when it's 10 offered, you can get out and all you've suffered is 30 cents. That makes things like scalping very, very accessible. You, know, you, you, you can become a market maker very easily. And what they would do is either you put some money down yourself or the company would back you after a period of them training you. Now, uh, when I first did it, uh, first of all, I got a salary. Uh, and then they sort of, the, the company which I worked with, they changed it around to the more how can I say, entrepreneurial proprietary uh, trading. The idea you've got a salary and then you've got a bonus at the end of the year. Um, uh, the, the salary, because I was new at the game, my salary was pretty low, uh, but it was a bit of a stretch to wait a whole year to get your bonus, uh, which was staggered even then after the year. So they changed the business model around uh, more like another company which I worked with, and that was a company called Snyder Trading Associates. Now, Schneider Trading Associates, they you weren't allowed to trade outrights, you had to trade spreads, okay? But different combinations of spreads, and I'll go into that uh, another time. Uh, but essentially, uh, they made their money on the amount of trades you do, uh, miraculously. So even though your commissions were very low, 30 cents, they made their money from the commissions, and they also made their money on actually, obviously, hiring out the desks. Fees. Those, those desk fees went a long way to covering their costs for the actual uh, location which they had. And you had the benefit of trading with other traders around you. You had a squawk box, so you heard the news. You could feel a little bit of this market sediment as the, some of the motions of the traders uh, around you. Yeah, you, you got a, a wealth of knowledge from other traders and also uh, mentors within that organization. Now, that to me is what I understand to be a prop firm or proprietary trading firm. 
There are other prop firms like FCT, CFT, Tower Trading still uh, around, uh, GHF uh, still around, DRW I believe uh, are still around. Uh, but a lot of those uh, price trading uh, companies sort of went out of fashion uh, maybe about a few years ago. Not long, I suppose. Not long after the 2008, I would say. Uh, but uh, they were very good, I, I, I believe, uh, especially if you're trying to get into the game because it gives you a really good idea about the markets. Now, what we have at the moment are these so-called companies which call themselves prop firms. But when you look at it, they're not prop firms. Uh, I mentioned before in my other video, and you can have a look at that video, because I do give the, the pros and the cons of these so-called proprietary trading companies. But as I said uh, in the other one, the most important thing is they are not regulated. Yeah, then they have no regulation. And they get around that non-regulation uh, through uh, not having custody of funds. Yeah. Uh, and also uh, the use of the software where literally... Uh, because of you know 92% of the people fail, they simply have software which takes the other side of the trade. So that's a great profitable uh, strategy. There's a trader called Trader Dante. If you get a chance, have a look at some of his uh, videos. They're very, very good, very amusing. And he talked about somebody who uh, wanted to get people and follow their strategy to do exactly the same thing. He wasn't following their strategy because it was uh, profitable. Uh, no, he was following their strategy because it was a dead cert, but they wouldn't make any money. And so he was just taking the opposite side of what they were doing. And that's what a lot of these so-called proprietary trading firms do. Uh, the, the rules are there uh, for, for good, uh, and it can help you get a little bit of discipline in the risk management side of things. Uh, but also, it's because it's an easy fail. You can get an easy fail, uh, and when you get an easy fail, they get your feet. Bump, they get your feet. So, uh, yeah, it was just interesting to know um, that here you got, uh, yeah, it might be a cascade of other proprietary uh, trading firms uh, dropping out uh, following this business model. And hopefully uh, it gets clear, cleared up because it's just, I find it quite uh, ridiculous, really, uh, this particular model, what they're doing proprietary trading. But that's $310 million uh, virtually down the pan one guy going to one guy okay uh on my video i estimated but that was just with three thousand uh, uh uh traders or trading accounts uh a, a profitable a potential profitability of four million okay so it's, it's interesting it's interesting to, to to see okay so uh that's all if you liked uh what you saw then um, please um like subscribe uh, for other news i'm going to do a video uh, about a time when i've recently finished from one of these uh, proprietary trading companies the real ones old school uh, and hopefully that will help you and other people in terms of boosting your trading account so watch out for that one because i think i'll try and do that one in one take okay